Hey Achievers, happy Wednesday, happy hump day you guys. I hope all is well. I am, I'm filming this on Tuesday, um, but by the title, you already know what we're going to talk about. I just had a job interview and <clears throat> I want to just give you guys a couple tips on, you know, what to do when an interviewer, uh, hmm, what to do when an interviewer is not welcoming, right? Let's just say that. So you have some people and then depending on their personality, right? Everyone has different personalities. You have some people that are just very to the point with things. And then you have some people who may allow you to elaborate and explain or you have some people that kind of do that give and take you know not so much I ask a question you answer but like I ask a question you answer you take your time answering instead of just boom 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 and the interview that I had today it was very boom 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 but I enjoyed it um I can tell that this person is like a no nonsense type person, not saying that they can't be loose or have fun or be approachable, but when it comes to work, it's time to work. I can tell the person has that type of uh, style or mindset. So a couple questions that were asked, and like I said, it was very to the point, um, it she did say, ask me, I mean, tell me about yourself. And if you look at other interview videos that I've done, you know, you'll see me talk about that often. But that uh, tell me about yourself is a trick question in a sense. They don't want to know where you're from, how many kids you have, how many dogs, what your favorite color is. <laughs> That's not what they want to hear. When they say, tell me about yourself, they want to know what you've done professionally up until that time so for example I say well I have about 10 to 12 years of financial service experience mostly in the loan sector space ranging from this type of loan this type of loan and this type of loan and they say okay after that she said I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions um, you give me your answers and then we'll go from there okay now before I tell you some of the questions that she asked, I just want to say this interview was scheduled for 30 minutes and it only took 15. That's how quick it was. Um, she was very assertive to the point, like I said. Um, she just asked me, uh, how do I feel about working remote? Because it's a remote position. Um... Have I spoken to borrowers? Have I been in a space where I had to speak to borrowers? What lines of communication were available? Um, she asked me questions about the job that they are looking to fill. If she had my resume near her, she didn't ask me anything about my resume. Nothing about my resume. And that is something that you have to be prepared for as well. When they don't ask you anything about your resume you have to be able to tell them in your answers in a quick way what you've done that specific role and how it relates to the job that you're interviewing for now so they asked about remotes um if i've spoken to borrowers before what lines of communication am i used to um if i've done payments before if i've had to modify loans before and what that was like and i would say well while i was doing this position i did modify loans or while I worked for this position in this position I was able to speak to borrowers and reach out to borrowers so I kind of had to let her know about my resume I had to pretty much feel you know bring my resume to her because she was not asking anything about it um and 
another thing I will say when doing any kind of interview, whether you have to go in the office or not, and I mean, this is self-explanatory. You may know this, but some of you guys may not. Look your best. Be as professional as you can be. And I know for women, sometimes that can be hard trying to figure out what to wear. But I would say any like silk type blouse that is not (laughs) see-through um and a blazer with some pants or a nice skirt works but if it's zoom business up top pajama pants and slippers on the bottom if that's your thing um i wore if you look at my um well you're gonna see this on wednesday but i posted what i wore on my um stories on instagram so i had a dark hunter green shirt that uh had like a gold you didn't see the gold in the back but it had like a gold clasp in the back so i paired that with a gold necklace um that had like a diamond bow shape in the center and i had some gold earrings and i had um red lip gloss but it was not like red lipstick it was just like a nice gloss um the person that was interviewing me um hair was wet looked like just got out the shower hair was wet had on like a gray a gray shirt not like a sweater shirt but just like a gray shirt and that was just kind of it um and don't worry about what they got going on just focus on you but i just say that to say always make sure you are on point because they are going to be looking at that um always have an upbeat posture upbeat posture a straight posture a upbeat if if this is your personality i'm a bubbly person i like to talk you guys know that by now um and i like to talk with my hands i like to smile um this person i was interviewing me was not smiley so much um but i continue to be myself i continue to smile i continue to give my answers um if i did not elaborate on the questions it would have been one word answers yes no you know like i said there were no tell me a time when you had to you know do this there were no behavioral questions at all it was just mainly pertaining to the position have you done this have you done this i did ask about um shadowing because i am a lifelong learner um i love to learn my role and then learn other roles so she did mention that there are um that there will be cross training and i was like oh okay good which i'm excited about right because i like to you know learn and she did say that you know you would wear many hats um now i want to tell you what wearing many hats means there's not a big staff okay um so you may be doing so many different things that are not your role just just putting it out there um some people work well under pressure i think i do work well under pressure um as long as i got my confidence and i know what i'm doing um so she said you know you will wear many hats the department is only 75 people so you may have to do a lot which is okay I like to keep busy when I work because it makes the time go by fast and because it's a remote position I can have my Pandora playing you know eating my lunch or whatever the case may be and just kind of getting down to business um what else was I asked this go round I was asked uh what is a weakness that I have and I like I tell every interviewer I don't like to say a weakness I like to say a area of learning opportunity or an area of opportunity um and I just talked about being concise with my notes um I can be very specific and thorough whereas sometimes some people may just want short and sweet and to the point which is kind of her style I could tell by the way she was interviewing me um she didn't ask me really anything about myself um oh another trick question that she asked do you prefer working for a larger corporation or a smaller corporation now this is why it is so important to 
always do your research on the company that you are applying for. Is it a large corporation? Is it a small corporation? Um, if you can, go on LinkedIn, type in the company, um, and see, type in their coworkers that already work there, and just get the title of what you know area that they work in, um, and you'll know. Plus, it'll have on on their about me page or their website how many employees they have, right? So, the when she asked me, do I prefer working for a large corporation or a small corporation? That's a trick question because they want to know if you've done your research and what you're going to say. If you say, oh yeah, you know, I really like large corporations because I'm able to grow faster or have advancement opportunities. You're, you're going to already be denied. Um, so because I knew it was a small corporation, my answer was, I don't necessarily have a preference. I have worked in larger corporations and smaller corporations. I said, however, I am the person that like to continue to learn and grow. So I said, I think I could best do that in a smaller corporation. I said, you know whether I have the opportunity to shadow someone, um, just depending on, you know, if the team is smaller and based on people's workload, I may be able to do that easier than whereas for a larger corporation, there's just, everyone's just so busy and it's just so much going on. So she was like, okay, I could tell she liked the answer, but she didn't show any emotion. She didn't show any emotion at all. And I'm the kind of person I smile when I talk and I made her smile <laughs> probably with like pulling teeth but you know I kind of made her smile just because my energy was coming off on her so which is good and it's fine you know um another thing that I was asked um to do, do, do I think that was the gist of it she asked me if I had any questions. Always have questions. When I say, do you have any questions? Always ask questions. Um, I asked about equipment. I said, you know, being as though this is a, a remote role, will you send, you know, will you provide equipment? So she's like, oh yeah, we'll give you a laptop, a monitor, docking station, all that. I also asked if they did reimbursement for internet. Some companies do that nowadays. And she said no. And I said, that was totally fine. Um, and I asked about the training. I said, how would the training work being as though it's a remote position? So she said the systems that they use and how that would be able to, you know, be done. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, what else did I ask her? I asked about the pay frequency. It's semi-monthly. Not my favorite, but, you know, it's better than zero monthly so I will take it <laughs> um she just talked about the scope of how you know the role is important how you will have to wear many hats um and I'm okay with the hustle and bustle because I've been in that you know area before um and that was pretty much it you guys that was the 15 minutes and Although it wasn't, I'll say the smoothest interview, it was just like very military style to me, you know, how do you feel about working remote? Oh, I don't mind it. You know, <laughs> what have you done? To <laughs> you know, just very to the point. And I, and like I said, I did enjoy that because I know what I'm going to be doing now. And I don't have any questions about what I'll be doing because those were the exact questions asked. Um, okay, now that interview is over. Oh, I did ask about next steps when I would know and hear something back. Uh, they stated that I would hear something by tomorrow. They are looking to fill the role. They did, I mean, and companies always say this, well, we are interviewing other people. Um, you may have to interview with the hiring manager, with the CEO, being as though it's a small company, or you kind of may not. They may, you know, go off of whatever she says and just go ahead and put the offer in. 
um, depending. So another thing that I have never talked about um, when giving interview advice or, you know, interview tips, rather, I never talked about a thank you note. Um, and I apologize for that. So we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Um, and I think I haven't talked about a thank you note because I've never had the opportunity to send one. Most of the times you're going through recruiters and you're not able to um, get their information. Um, now, I have found the people on LinkedIn um, and now LinkedIn is so... I don't know, membershipy <laughs> that you have to have a member or have a premium um, to be able to message them or you have to have be connected to be able to send a message. And I don't want to connect with a <laughs> hearing manager just to send, um, you know, a thank you note. But I had the opportunity to send a thank you note and I am going to read to you what I said and I'll give you some reasons why I used certain wording word usage all right so I have dear miss ma'am you know you know her name really not miss ma'am <laughs> I am reaching out to say thank you for taking the time to speak with me we had a lovely conversation and the highlight for me was learning about the new role and how it resonated with me and my, my experience. So I say how it resonated with me and my experience. That's letting her know, reiterating to her, I've done this kind of work before and it's nothing new to me. So with that, I would probably catch on quickly and be able to do the work a lot smoother, even during training. Each role up to this interview has taught me to be more concise and continue to learn and grow as a professional. Now, when you're in any type of atmosphere, employment setting, you're always going to be learning something that you've never knew. I spoke about my weakness or my area of opportunity being more concise because she wanted to know, you know, if I improved on that and I did tell her that I did um oh I also mentioned to her you know supervisors and co-workers stated that I have improved on improved on my note taking and I just let her know I'm a writer by nature I'm very thorough and I'm very specific that works for some supervisors and some people sometimes it does not some people like to just be short and sweet and to the point like I said which is how she would be I believe then I said, I love that I can have an opportunity to do both, which is learn and grow with ABC Store. Again, I am grateful for your time and consideration. Now, I said again, I'm grateful for your time and consideration because the interview went so fast and it seemed like she was in a hurry. So I definitely wanted to thank her for taking the time out. And I even did so before we... Um, got off the call your approach to the interview and perspective on what makes a successful portfolio servicing analyst were illuminating and I hope to continue to have a conversation soon so I still let her know even after the interview I'm still interested and you know I'm looking forward to possibly being a part of the company um, and then I just said warm regards and with my name. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that she did ask me. Because it went by so freaking fast, you guys. Um, so, let me see. When she asked about, oh, she asked what's a strength of mine. Um, what I, the question was either what is a strength of mine or what are the strengths that someone said I had something along those lines and I said you know paying attention to detail um, being able to give ideas and be innovative and I spoke about and like I said I had to kind of throw my resume to her and I told her how I spoke about you know talking during meetings if I had something you know to say or an idea 
Um, I said one of the things that my supervisor mentioned in the letter of recommendation was that I went above and beyond and I have a great work ethic. I said there was a time where uh, someone on our team, you know, was not in for the day and I asked if I could work overtime to work their workload. And, you know, he was thankful that I was able to, you know, participate to be able to do that. And he even mentioned it in the next meeting. So just little things like that. And I also, you know, uploaded my letter of recommendation. I upload that on every um, application that I apply for because it's also a good talking point during the interview. So yeah, Um, when you have an interviewer that um is not going about it the traditional way you have to figure out how to um hold your own if you will how to not so much carry the conversation but make yourself stand out to let them know hey I can do this job I want this job I'm here for it had I just answered the questions that pretty much were yes and no answers I don't know if I would if I would feel comfortable of having a strong chance of, you know, having a potential offer because there was no way of like she didn't ask any behavioral questions. She didn't ask anything about any of the jobs that I've done. Um, So, you know, it, it it can go like that. Every interview is different, which surprised me because the day before. I had a interview prep with the recruiter and the recruiter stated that it would be behavioral questions, the star method. Um, These are some kind of questions that may be asked and none of them were asked. Um, It was like this person just kind of, you know, did her, which is fine because I, like I said, I was able to hold my own. I didn't feel stuck. I didn't feel out of place. I didn't fluster my words or anything like that I answered you know in a positive way so yeah that is how that experience went um I will say that was a first for me but when you you know stay ready you don't have to get ready when you be on you know think on your toes and you know what you are there to do and you know what you're there to really talk about um yeah, y'all. So if you have any questions, definitely um, comment down below. I love talking to you guys in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see y'all in the next video. Being blessed and have an amazing day. Bye.